Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces November 17, 2022. Today's minor challenging aspect between the Sun and Mars requires some flexibility. An unusual desire, whim, impulse, or attraction may be calling you, and restlessness can set in, as much as you'd prefer some predictability. It's likely very transitory and temporary, and aiming for moderation can help you sidestep a state of vague frustration. As well, booster transits are in play, and attention turns to your most appealing qualities people see you in a most favorable light, making it a powerful time to gain someone's trust or favor. You're likely to stumble upon opportunities for cooperation and shared happiness. Creative or romantic matters can thrive. You're expressing yourself in playful, fun, and attractive ways. Discovering a new passion, interest, hobby, or love may be in focus now. Today could be one of your favorite days in the entire year. This is because Venus, now orbiting in your solar first house of identity, and Jupiter, now spinning in your solar fifth house of passion, are working in perfect harmony. This so rarely happens that it could literally feel like a gift from the heavens above. If single, you'll likely be at the right place at the right time to meet new prospective suitors, one of which could be a soulmate connection. If coupled up, this is the perfect moment to treat yourself and your one and only to something special. If you're looking to conceive, a miracle could also happen. What do you want to explore? You should feel emboldened by your professionalism when Venus in your sign trines Jupiter retrograde in Pisces. As you begin to feel more hopeful about your ability to express yourself through your ideas, signature style, and passion projects, you can use the momentum to build up your self-confidence. You could make your professional identity more attractive during this trine if you feel inspired by your work in progress and confident in your outward appearance as a professional. Align yourself with the endeavors and creative choices that speak to you as a professional. On its own, just having the moon in your career sector and at a friendly aspect to planets on the job front in the heart of the working week is a huge advantage, but they are also the perfect conditions for Venus return to your income sector today. The moon is only passing through but is fortuitously here as the planet of money returns to begin what can be the most lucrative weeks of any year. The planetary alignment today gives you a chance to get your own needs met by asking for things. Sometimes you don't see what you need because you are more concerned for others, yours is an altruistic sign. However, this placement makes your emotions urgent and vivid, and you somehow find the nerve to ask other people to do for you, instead of vice versa. Show the world you mean business and take your health into your own hands. Watch your diet carefully. The essence of this surrounds your devotion to your family and home environment. Take some time to consider your motivation and it comes to achieving greater status. As an 8, this is often a very important part of goals and ambitions. But do you know why this is the case for you personally? Do you seek recognition out of pride in yourself, or is there a deeper need to prove something out of insecurity or inferiority? Try to ensure that the driving force behind your actions is a healthy one. As Venus leaves Scorpio today your birthday month still has another 6 days to run and Mercury will stay on until tomorrow, with a chance to focus more on having a game plan and resolutions, she leaves you with the desires and expectations that will help to frame the coming year. It was Venus' friendly aspect to Jupiter yesterday that is giving you the confidence to not just listen to but to trust and follow your heart. In the meantime, as Venus returns to your income sector it is to find the moon in your career sector, getting what can be the most lucrative weeks of any year off to a good start. Venus, the planet of love might leave Scorpio today but not before spending yesterday at a friendly aspect to Jupiter in your romantic sector and after being caught up with last week's eclipsing full moon in your relationship sector. Venus' mission to update your romantic and relationship desires and expectations for this new solar year may have ended but there is still a lot to absorb and process. Our Eyes in the Sky The proud and bold Leo moon forms a square to the sun, allowing us to be assertive in our relationships and making us flare up with passion and excitement. 
While this day allows you to talk things out and get your point across, remember to be extra conscious and receptive to other people's thoughts so this strong energy doesn't escalate into arguments. A relationship takes more than one person, so be open to hearing what others have to say if you also want them to listen to you. Demonstrate to others that you can be a fighter when you need to be. Don't let people walk all over you. If you let them do so now, they won't be afraid to do so again later on. Whether you are at work or not, be sure to stand up for yourself. Your drive is strong, and you are encouraged by the people around you. You are ready to take the next step and you aren't afraid of showing yourself off to the rest of the world. There is great power in this type of confident attitude. Embrace it. The moon shares a connection with the nodes of destiny, bringing to light past emotional baggage to help us heal. Now is the perfect time to do shadow work to understand how you react to challenging situations. It's perfectly fine if you feel the need to spend the rest of the day by yourself. Make self-care a priority. Take a bath in the evening to decompress, relax, and have greater peace of mind. After midnight, Venus in Scorpio creates a trine with Jupiter in Pisces, allowing us to give and receive love. This aspect improves relationship dynamics by helping us to open our hearts and gain a greater appreciation for the people in our lives. If we are currently partnered, we can more easily relax with our loved one, deepening intimacy in the process. If we are single, this is a time of luck in romance. We may meet someone special through friends of friends, our spiritual community, or while traveling. You aren't afraid to be upfront with others. This is a good thing. Tell it like it is and be assertive with your information. This kind of approach may upset them, but ultimately it is in their best interest and yours. Don't shy away from the truth. You are in a position of great power. Even if you were not at work, it would behoove you to think about work-related issues. Do some planning for the future. Seeds plated now will turn into a tremendous harvest that you will cash in on down the road. Keep work-related matters out of your head. Thinking about work will only end up making you angry and frustrated. If you have to be at work today, try not to make any waves. Avoid contact with others as much as possible. Arguments are likely. In the morning, the Leo moon trines Chiron in Aries, allowing us to express our vulnerable side without shame. Events transpire which cause us to give new context to old hurts. Rather than clinging to the past, we can forgive our inner child for lacking the emotional literacy to defend themselves against former bullies or aggressors. By accepting this wounded part of ourselves, we engender psychological healing. It may be that we come to this personal realization as we guide another through a similar issue as the one we once faced.